Hi, this is my first video in English. I am, don't speak English very well, but I will try my best. So I just bought some copics and I want to show you how I color the drawings. I am here showing of the Little Mermaid, so I'll try to, I did the drawing with Little Mermaid. I used this uni um, pen. It's very simple, it's 0 0.8, I did the entire line art with it and I will color with some Copics. As I don't have a lot of experience with the markers, uh, first I did some color combinations for my skin tones and for the hair and some of them I use during the, the video and I will show you. So um, I've seen some videos so far and uh, I've seen people trying to, to color, not trying, coloring uh, everything using um, just sets of colors. Uh, for example, these ones, uh, using sets like this uh, through all the entire coloring. Uh, I personally like to, to do the colors a bit more uh, variated to make the shadows more rich, so I add a kind of uh, purple in this case and a, li a little bit of uh, greenish blue because it's the, it's the opposite color of the red of the hair. So this and this are the six colors I use for the skin tones. Uh, here, you can see the names, but I, I will put uh, in the description. So, uh, other thing that I, I do differently, um, I've tried uh, to follow the, the way that I see in some tutorials. I color, I color from the, the darkest color first, and then I color the, the lightest. And I, I've seen people doing the opposite, so it, you can do as you think is better. For me, it works better to start with the, the darkest color and then uh, the lightest one. So I will start the the darkest. I use all I, what I like in the Copics is this the this brush tip because um, they are, I've tried some other markers and they have a hard bullet tip that's not that um, that comfortable to to work. So what made me really in love with the Copics was the this uh, brush tip. So I'm I will start to do. To color the dark areas first, I will put a light coming from there, so I will have a nice shadow here in her eyes. And uh, I just do this. I really don't worry if they will dry or if they will not, because um, I like the mark, the marks of the the brush. I I don't want to blend it until destroy the, the texture. I don't want it to look as if it was printed. I want to keep the texture of the marker. In some place, of course, we will try to blend a bit more. But uh, in other places, I will just try to to keep the the color of the, the marker. I don't I don't see any problem on this. So here, yeah, but. Uh, some cheeks. Here is an example of thing that you need to work quickly because here is an area that I want uh, to have a nice and smooth blend. So I start to blend here and here at the same time because I can't take too long. And okay, it's blended. Then I can just color the rest. And I like to leave some white areas. I love to work with watercolors, so I try to mimic a bit what I do with the watercolors with the markers. I really don't try to blend it too much, just enough to, to make it more smooth, but keeping the texture of the marker. And this paper that I'm using is a normal paper like paper that you use to print. Um, I really love papers but I I think Copics are so expensive and we spend 
a lot of money to, to start the collection. You really don't need all the colors that they, they have. You really, it's better, I think, in, in my humble opinion, to learn to blend the colors, and so you can um, you can build your own colors than to buy the entire set. Uh, last week uh, when I started I was working with something like I think six copics, shy six copics and it's uh, really is enough to do lots of things. Um, it's easier to, to work with more colors but you can uh, achieve very good things with lo uh, a few copics. So it's really up to you. You need to to try and to learn. I'm still learning. As I said, I need the I need the the color chart because I, I still don't know to blend all these colors. I were, was working just with the five colors, uh, but it's uh, it's it's nice to to learn. So here, okay, I finished it. So here is the point I've seen uh, people doing like this. I personally add. This is what I I get. I add other tones to the um, the shadows. So here I put a bit uh, of green. Here too. Here too, and uh, here. In all the areas where I want uh, uh, contrast, in the lines you can see that I have a. Um, Thick line, and I will try to answer to the lines with the the gray, the, the green. Sorry, to build some contrast, and you can go nicely, neatly. Here, want to open a bit the the color. This as this color is much lighter than the other ones. What I uh, I've seen it happen when you, you have a lighter color or like blender, you you push the other colors away. So this green is pushing the color away. Uh, so it's this for this one and E093 for the, the lips. This tip really allows allow you to work very, very precisely. So what I really like is you can do things very small, very small thing. And um, with this this tip, it's very good. Here, the same thing. Like the inside of an eye is never completely, completely white. So it's reflected, reflected the light, so but a very small uh, part of uh, the, the same skin tone. Okay. And then here. Okay, you can get this slowly. Her eyes is this is the same color that I will use in the in the hair later. So I just get a bit of this BG uh, ten and the B 0 that uh, is one of the lightest um, blues. a bit this shade with this blue too. Here I'm getting the same. And I try to come back um, the lightest color I'm working is this E00. E so I can always use it to uh, warm up these uh, shadows again if I think that they are too cold. Like here I think they are a bit too cold. I just warm it up a bit and everything is okay. So, and this is um, okay, 
is her <laughs> is the the basic and now I will do the, the hair for the hair the same the same thing I will work with the blue for the light I know that's very strange but it, it will work you see and I will use uh, these two basic reds for the shades this I will use as um, um, in very few areas, just as a light, and this will be my shade, my shadows, and this is a blender because the blender, the transparent blender, doesn't work really as a blender. So what I discovered is you can uh, take lightest color from the, the same group that you're working to use it as a, the the color to blend. So here I use this blues. Yeah. Uh, a tip to do the highlights. Um, it works for me, and it works for this position of the light that we have here. Is to try to apply the highlight to the curves. Uh, it will uh, help a lot. So this will be the the basic tone I will use for the, the hair. I really don't like this other tip. I will use, use just this one. Can start with the small areas and be. As if he was drawing every single um, piece of hair, every every I don't know how to say it in English. Every hair. <laughs> don't work uh, in. I don't. I don't like uh, to work on circles or in any other thing that's not the same direction of the hair that I am um, that I am growing. So I try like you have this curve here, the marker will come and follow the same curve. base uh, there's not really a lot of secret it's ready to keep coloring and coloring and following uh, I took my sections as I said it's easier and you have less risk to make it um, to make um, Ugly, ugly spots, but it's uh, basically this. It's really hard because normally I would change the position of the paper to do this, and I can't change because of the camera, so it's a bit harder. But this. Here, I think it will be softer. Uh, it's really hard to do the the paper. <laughs> I try to turn because I'm starting to make uh, some mistakes. As I said, the light's coming up, so this will be the the main area, the lightest area. In this hair. Thank you. 
I turn the paper to let my hand to follow the the flow. So I can make the, the curves without a lot of uh, effort. This is a very basic uh, drawing. I did it with lines, um, how to say, um, black lines that are a bit harsh, and but you could do it with um, colored pencils to make it lighter, or, or another color of pen, or even markers, um, brown markers. I think it would be very beautiful. Now I will use this other one. The air R46 to the shades. As these colors are very similar, it will just enhance the As I said, I will use the Epsilon, Epsilon R to blend. And then in covering this red, the dark red again. Because it's a bit uh, pink, this red. And I, I want something more orange. And then I will fill this some of this.